Hello again. Um, today I thought I'd try and show you a couple of really quick tricks um, for using um, stamps with dies, either with um, matching dies like this new set or for sentiments with a where you want to cut out a strip uh, to put your sentiment on. Um, if you're going to use a die um, and stamp together and each time that you if you want to use it repeatedly for a card or if you're making Christmas cards or whatever and you want a lot of the same thing it's very time consuming to have to put your die over the stamp um, image line it up to cut it out so I've got a quick way of you know saving a bit of that fussing time so this is a weekend doodles die set of stamps and matching dies from Alton New and I'm just going to use um this little one um the little sprig of leaves actually I think it's really rather sweet so this is the stamp and this is the die so what I propose to do is to take a little shortcut and use a stamping platform and here I've got my Misty. Um, you can do this without a stamping platform and I, I might just be able to show you a, a, a little bit quick way to do that at the end if I, if I can get it right. Anyway what you do is this. Um, you make a jig. So what I've done I've cut this die cut from just a piece of scrap card you can see it's scrap it's got a great dirty mark over it I don't know how it did that so I have cut out the shape um, of this with this die and I'm going to pop that into a corner in my misty and just hold it down okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the stamp into the space where that's it where that fits I'm going to close the lid so that the stamp will adhere to the lid now all I have to do I can cut out as many of these as I want pop it into here into the space I'll just ink this up with anything just for this, the sake of it ink up the stamp it's not being inked very well actually let me just do it properly to seem to be doing it right this is just a, an alabaster candle holder and I just use it as a, a whatever they call so there we are I've moved my pokey tool perfectly placed so if we want to do another one we just cut it out pop it in there ink up again and over we go so that's a really quick way of making sure that you're absolutely in the right place for your um stamp and matching dies doesn't matter what stamp set you've got you can use the same principle for it so that's that one the next one i wanted to show you is is this for example if we've got a sentiment and we want to cut it out with a strip and the die that you are using looks like this. You try and put that over and you're not absolutely sure whether that word is centralized underneath here. So what I do is this. I cut one of those out of, a, a, this is just a thin, well it's, it's not copy, it's thicker than copy paper, but it's not as thick as card. So what I can do is I can place that around the sentiment so that the sentiment is absolutely centralised inside it. Then all I have to do is pop this inside and run it through my machine. Now, oh, it's not straight. Now I might have moved it. Let's just have a quick look. Let's have more haste, less speed, Christine. Come on, let's get yourself organised. Right, put it in. And because it's not very thick paper, it should be fine going through. 
Now, I'm not going all the way through because, as you see, this die is a lot longer. That's where I started to cut it before. Oh, no, it isn't. It's a bit of the paper. OK, the die is much longer than the um, sentiment. So what I can do is put this on the other end, as where I like the look of it. Pop this inside. Get this straightened. Put on the top. And there we are. And there's our die cut sentiment with absolutely centralised in the in the middle this way and equidistant from each end. So there we go. Quick and cheerful. One thing to warn you about though, if you've not long stamped it and you use one of these dies, I don't know if you can see this, but there is some transfer of the ink onto the die. So before you use that a second time, get a baby wipe and just make sure it's clean. Otherwise, that will transfer onto the next sentiment you're going to cut out. Okay, I hope you've learned a little something and it's useful, that's the main thing. And thanks for watching.